Now I'm going to show you guys how to do the circle parry. The circle parry is really easy. All you do is when the straight punch is coming in, you just roll your forearm around his arm. You roll his forearm around him, and you deflect his punch to the outside. That's the circle parry. So it's actually best to use that long range. And I'm going to demonstrate it right now. So for example, Richard comes in, throws a real uh, a long jab. I'm going to circle it. Okay, I'm throwing it out again. Throwing it out. If he throws a right hand, throwing it out more sideways. If he throws a one, two from far away, again, circle it, throwing it out. Throw that right hand again. I can circle it, and from here, counter jab, counter right hand. Real easy, really easy parry to do. Also, uh, from this angle, he suppose he throws a jab, and I circle parry's jab. Throw the jab. What I'm going to do is I'm pulling it, I'm wrapping my arm, or my forearm around his, and I'm pulling his jab to the side. This pulls, this, this opens his arm out and gives my hand the inside lane to land the counter right. So just know that. You want to pull his, his hand out. The other part of the circle parry is actually the low parry. The low parry is really just a half circle parry. It, you use it any time he throws a low punch. So I'll demonstrate right now. Uh, throw any hand, low punch from any hand. Okay, low parry. Again, any hand. Low parry. All I do is I bring my circle my hand down and just swing his to the side again. Okay, this punch is used for uh, low punches to the body. He throws a straight right, straight to my body. Okay. If I if I down parry this, I might down parry it into my groin or my you know my stomach anywhere. It's gonna hurt. So I use a low parry because that perfectly clears a punch. So there you have it. That's a circle parry, and you have your low parry.